Good morning, pineapple. What's happening? How you going? Have you seen any aliens? Have you seen any UFOs? Have any aliens come to play some clubs with you? Following my last video and something that I tend to talk about a lot when it comes to goalkeeping, I talk about knowing where the opponent is going to shoot, but I've never really elaborated on the detail behind that. So yeah, that's what this goalkeeping tutorial is going to be all about. How do you give yourself the best chance to read exactly where the opponent is going to shoot? Let's go! Well, the first cue that I'm going to talk about is whether or not the opponents have quickly played the ball into your box. I'm showing the clips now, and yeah, it's basically when the opposition receives a really quick pass and they have a free shot right in front of you. The first and most important thing is just to make sure that you're in a good position. Otherwise, just forget it. So how do you do this? Well, I just hold on to my L1 whenever the opponent is building up the play. And that's what you're seeing in all of these clips. I'm in a really good position to save anything. Take this clip for example. So a powerful R1X was played into the box and the opponent is completely free. I'm all the way to my right and the gap in the defense is ultimately leading to a knee post shot. Even the touch and the way that he's lining up to shoot and all the little cues that I've said before, it's all indicating that, yeah, he's gonna shoot near post. So being in a really good position, as soon as he receives that ball, as quick as I can, I move with my left stick to the left, and then while I move into the left, I dive with my right stick to the left as well. The same situation here, there's a quick ball played into the box and the opponent has a free shot. This time, he's a little more to the left, and just seeing his touch and his positioning, and also the way the defense is all shaped, the instinct that I get is that he's gonna shoot far post with his right-footed strong foot, and because of my auto position, I'm right in the middle, I'm ready to save both left and right, and that's why I move to the right using my left stick, and then I dive with the right stick. So overall, just in summary, the cues that I look for is the gap in the defense, where the opponent is positioned, and the touch taken. And what I need to do is just make sure I'm in a really good position, and I need to be very quick as soon as that ball is played. The second situation is more when it's a 1v1, so when there's no gap in the defense and it's just strictly you and the opposition. I'm not going to be talking about rushing out, that's a separate video. I'm just talking about if you decide to stay in your 6 yard box and predict the shot. One of my favorite things is just pretending that I'm going to rush out and then quickly moving back. Basically, it helps to put them off their game and it helps to draw out a shot when the opposition is a lot further away, but just make sure you do those things really quickly. But the most important cue in this situation is just the touch that the opposition takes. Also, it's where the defense is approaching, so if they're catching up to the opposition towards his knee post shot or towards his far post shot, he might shoot in the other direction. But just taking this clip for example, there's one of my defenders towards his right shoulder, so it might turn him off from shooting in the knee post direction. He's also most likely right footed, so all these things indicate to me instinctively that he's going to shoot to the far post. The third situation, and this is the most common one, it's just a random shot. This can be from anywhere, whether it's far or near, etc. But all these cues that I've talked about, the opposition's positioning, your positioning, the gaps, the touches, if your defense is catching up on his knee post or his far post, they apply to whatever situation is at hand. And the most important thing is remain instinctive and be focused and don't think too much. I'd be lying if I said, hey, I know exactly where the opponents are going to shoot. But all of these cues will give you a better indication and therefore a better chance to make so many more saves and that's going to help you. But otherwise, that's all for today. Make sure to jump in the Discord channel, link in the bio. And yeah, take care, stay safe, bye.